So Warzone is going away forever. The first Warzone is going away forever very soon if it hasn't already gone by the time this podcast releases, right? And I really wanted to express what a big mistake that was for Activision. And I hope, I hope that Microsoft may be fixing this. I don't think they will because this is just a big animal that they'll have to tackle. I don't think that they want to deal with it. But Warzone is going away and the ser servers are being shut, shut, shut down. Because Warzone 2 was built on a different platform, a different place than what Warzone was built on, right? And I don't think that was a good move in general for Call of Duty for Warzone because that means that essentially the customers that spent money on your stuff, it's all gone now. So that also I think will drive people into NFTs and stuff like that because then they can't actually lose the things that they buy. But that's a story for a different day. The problem, the real issue here with what with what Call of Duty is doing when they when they're getting rid of Warzone and pretty much getting rid of everything that people have purchased, is it's it's really more of a principle, right? It's not the fact that they're doing it; it's just the fact that because I I knew exactly that what was going to happen. I knew that if I spent money, eventually it was going to go away. Like it's the same thing in GTA Five. I don't think GTA 5 stuff is going to go into GTA 6. I don't think that's a real thing. It might be, but that might not be a real thing, right? So that is the real issue here with these games and microtransactions. Is that you're essentially spending money for it to go to waste. Like, you should have that thing forever. And even if the game does stay let's say up forever or for at least a very long time it's still your money is still being thrown into a trash can essentially or being burnt at the stake like you're not physically being able to keep the money that you spent on those on those not physical but those digital I items because every game dies after a while like a game can't stay up forever like csgo has been going on what 12 13 years now maybe longer like eventually csgo is gonna die too like once the generation of people that really cared about CSGO, especially now, once they are gone, like, CSGO will die. Everything dies. Every video dies on YouTube. Every, every, um, everything, everything dies. Whether it be a game, YouTube video, no matter what, it dies, okay? That's the, that's the real issue here. And that's the thing that I want everyone to understand when they're watching this podcast, if you're spending money on a game, it will eventually go. Like, I feel bad. You know you know what I feel bad for? You? Most of you probably don't remember this, but there is a game called Evolve. I loved the game Evolve. The game Evolve was essentially, you. Had, I don't, there's probably different games that are, that, that, that are like it, but the concept of Evolve was you had a team of four people, maybe five, I think it was four. You, you had a team of five people, um... And you'd have, you had to hunt down a a monster. That was like the basic mode that you would play. And it was only multiplayer. There was no campaign or whatever else. It was a pretty fun game. It was made by Turtle Rock Stu Studio. I really enjoyed that game. But the servers got shut down because the game just didn't hit off as, as good as they thought it was going to. And I didn't spend any money on the game. I, I don't spend money on games besides the game itself. So if the game doesn't cost any money, you're not going to get any money out, 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 out of me. I'm also very cheap. I'm I'm trying to save up for a better, you know, environment, a better, you know, a better house, a better, you know, so I can have my own studio, better computer, better monitors. Like, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it for, like, work, saving up money, you know, side hustles and work more than I am buying stuff on, on, on a game or buying a game. Like... I'll buy a game, but I will not spend money in, in the game a lot of the times, unless it's something really worth my time. But then I always think about it in the back, in the back of my head, that thing is going to go away eventually. So me spending $30 on this, this is $30 that's down, that's down the drain that could be put into investments, that could be put into whatever else. So at the end of the day, I don't, I, I don't think that people should be spending money on games if they're not going to have a lifetime or a longer life than usual. Like GTA, you spending money in GTA five that game was up for 12 years 11 10 10 10 10 11 12 years it's been up for a long time so you really got your money's worth if you're spending money in that game versus if you get a call of duty game it's like every year they're making something new so it's like 
after maybe five or six years, that old game, one, has no players on it. Unless, uh, uh, unless that was a real awesome game that everybody loved, which is like almost impossible for Call of Duty because it's like every time people get, the player base just gets bored of every Call of Duty and then they have to move on to a new one every, every single like year. You know, even though the, even though everybody complains that that they're ti that they're tired that they're they're exhausted from seeing um, a Call of Duty er every single year, but yet like they all, then everyone's always bitching after year 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 one that, that that they're that they're tired of the same Call Call of Duty for for that year they need a new one. So I I don't know what the hell is going on at this point. I'm just tired of hearing all the complaining. But at the end of the day. I don't think that you should buy things in there unless they're really worth your time. Like, don't spend thousands of dollars. Spend like a few hundred if you're really going to spend money. Don't spend thousands of dollars. Unless you're a streamer and you can write it off as a fucking business expense, do not spend money on on, 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 on a game. I just, it's just, the things are going to go away. It's just a waste of your money. I'm making a game and I'm telling you that. Like, I'm telling you that and I'm making you a game. But then, but then again, the things that I'm going to charge m money on are probably not going to be 30, 40 bucks a piece. They're going to be like maybe like 99 cents. So buy a few of those. But like if you're going to spend, a, if you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, not, not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds or thousands of dollars on like a skin, on skins and whatever else, like it's just going to be gone. I, the, on the other hand, I actually plan on making my games last more than just like a few years. Like I want my games to last like years upon years. So like. I want it to be like CSGO status, even, you know, maybe even GTA, where, like, we make a, ga a base game, we improve it, we improve it, we improve it within, like, a five or ten year span, and then it's really at its peak at, like, the five or ten years, and then we start adding some more, you know, you know, um, uh, game modes, more content, and whatever else, so that the game stays, lives on for, like, a ten to fifteen to twenty year span, or even lo longer, if possible, that's the plan. I don't know how well that, that, that'll work out based on, you know, who plays it and what the audience is, but the mobile game that I'm currently working on, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it so that it's going to last for decades to come, not just like a couple of years. Like I have other projects that I want to work on, but like, I'm going to self-sustain that one game and then have people have it be adding content, have it get more, you know, more maps, more players, more, you know, bigger and better things. And then then I'm going to move on to my next project. Same, same thing with that project. But the other project's still going to be going. Someone else is going to be managing it and whatever else. But <clears throat> that's the plan. And then kind of like make our own ecosystem or whatever else. Of not only players and whatever else. But, you know, of of, uh, of the game itself. So that's what I think my, that's that's what I think my, my Microsoft should be doing. But I don't know how, how well that's that that's going to happen. Or not, not my, my... Well, actually, technically now I could say my, Microsoft. But really Activision. Uh, Activision, you know, should have should have brought Warzone into Warzone Two and just made it the same thing because that's all they're doing right right now. Warzone Warzone Two is equal to Warzone One. That's all it is. That is exactly what it is right now. You can argue to the teeth if you want. They have made Warzone Two into Warzone One. They had Zombie Royale where you could jump. Like yes, now they have something called Temp V because of the boys integration that they made because now now they have a reason. But like the the zombies were able to jump. You were able to like you know do some kind of shockwave to stop to EMP things as as a, as a zombie. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 getting to the point right where <laughs> it's getting to the point where I just feel like it, it was it was such a waste of not only time but money playing Warzone One. If they're just going to make Warzone 2 into the same thing. And now they're going to make you buy new shit. You know? Now. Excuse me. Not all of you may feel the same. Which is fine. I don't expect you to feel the same as me. But I've been cheated enough by Call of Duty that I feel like some of you should be upset right, right now. But you're not. And you're going to keep playing and keep buying, which is not what you want to do. You want to stop buying and stop playing because that will cause them to make real change. They'll, that'll cause them to make a 360 change. That's not like, like what I said in my, in my other podcast episode or earlier in the week where they, we asked for something simple, like a balled up piece of tinfoil and they're giving us a rocket ship from NASA. Like we don't need that. We, we don't need that gunsmith. The gunsmith in Modern Warfare, the first one, or Modern, Modern, Modern Warfare 2019, was fine. It was honestly fine. 
And I don't think that they understand that. I like I there are people that like it. I, I think it's I mean, I think the gunsmith is cool, but I don't think that we needed that. We did not need that as a player base, as a community. We did not need that. We needed we needed model for twenty nineteen, but maybe with like six attachments. Or maybe like having the ability to put on a, a perk on the gun and five attachments and not have the perk be a, be an attachment. That's what we needed. We didn't need like this complicated system to have to like go use like a red dot from like the fucking submachine guns to have to get a fucking underbill for my assault rifle. That's just stupid. That's dumb. The, all they're do the reason why they do that is so that you can play the game longer. That's all they're doing. So for you to get gold, let's say that's the thing that they have to do, or getting the, the new, uh, you know, the the uh, prestige camera or whatever. <clears throat> if they do that, that causes you to have to play the game longer because it's harder to get the challenges. That's all they do when they make things more complicated. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it so that you can play it longer and so that these streamers can have content. That's all they're doing. They're not actually making. It's like <clears throat> the average nine to five person, like myself, the average nine to five person will not go on and play a game and just like have to use like a dot site from this and a dot site from that and an underbell from here to get the dot site from this gun. Then to be able to get a camo, I have to go use the sniper rifle with the red dot. I have to use iron sights on my, my, my machine gun to get 50,000 kills. Like that's what they're doing. And like most of us that are playing the game will not get the, the camo within a reasonable amount of time. Like, a streamer will get it because they play eight hours a day plus. They will get that in like a month or two or like a couple weeks, right? Like there are people that complete the camo challenges in like a week or two of the game being out because, because they have a team of people that run through it with them and they have people that stream constantly that like do it, right? They're doing it tw 24 hours a day. So like one person does it for like the full day. Then they take a break. They go to bed. They go home. They see their family, whatever. Then the second guy gets on and he fucking goes and plays. That's how they get it done in like a week or two. But like in reality, it's like this, like the, these, these, all these camos that, that Pete, that we've gotten, like the normal person will not be able to get all these camos. Like a normal average player will not be able to get all those camels. Not because they can't, but because it's like, I don't have the time to use 60 different attachments just, just, just to get fucking desert camo. You know what I mean? <laughs> Granted, for the streamers, getting 50 headshots was easy. Getting 100 headshots was easy. But like, for the normal person, that was like, that took them a couple months. Because it's like, you can only play for an hour or two a night. Or even, or even less during the week. Like, you know, sometimes you'd even play five hours throughout the whole week which is one hour, maybe three hours a night, and then another two hours another night. So it's like, you know, but like, like know that the average person that's playing this game is not getting those camos in these more complicated Call of Duties. It's just, it's that's just facts. And I and you may disagree with me. Maybe some of you are like built different, but it's like, I can guarantee you 90% of you are not like, yeah, oh yeah, I'm getting these camos in like a month. Like it's not happening. Like, unless you're playing five hours a night, which is, like, almost impossible for a lot of working people, it's like you're not going to be able to get those camos within that reasonable amount of time. So, essentially, all they're doing is they're creating more work for the people that play their game and actually support their game, which is also why they, they make those they, they make those, pa those packs where, we like, you know, you have to unlock a gun, a new gun or whatever. You can just buy the stupid... You can just buy the blueprint, and then you get the gun, so you don't have to, like, you know, get... 50 kills in smoke while throwing knifing in, in midair. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, those are the dumb challenges that, that they do, you know? And then they're like, yeah, streamers will do this. But like the people, like, streamers aren't even doing that either. Cause they're lazy as shit. They're just buying the fucking packs now. So then now everyone's buying the packs cause they just don't want to get the gun. I'm sorry. I'm ranting, but at the same time, it's like, this is all true. Like this is pretty much the whole scenario that we run into and why Call of Duty has been so money hungry. It's because you guys just keep doing the same shit over and over again and buying the dumb shit that you don't need. You don't need that new gun. You want to know why? Because they're going to nerf it as soon as you get it. Even even if enough people buy it, if enough people buy the blueprint, they're going to nerf it the next day. Like I can guarantee you, the I can guarantee you, if we looked at if we looked at a chart on Call of Duty's chart for profit or their sales, I can guarantee you, after a certain point of sales for a new blueprint for a meta weapon, I can guarantee you, I guarantee you, if we look at that chart. Once it hits a certain point, they 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 they'll they'll nerf the gun, because a lot of things got nerfed different times. So like the DMR stayed powerful for like a month or two, right? Then like I forgot I, I forgot some some of the the meta weapons, but like uh, 
I think it was like the, it was, I forgot the name of the gun, but it was like a, it was like a round, it was like a four round burst gun that was overpowered for a little bit. And then all of a sudden they got nerfed the next day. So I can guarantee you enough people made videos about it to where people just bought it. Their, their sales went sky high. Then they said, all right, time to nerf it. Then the next day it was trash or the next day it got, it got, it got a nerf, but it was like, you know, a couple bullets. So like, instead of it being two shot kill it was like three or four, you know what I mean? Then they let that go on for a little bit up oh, sales spiked again. It's, it, it's, it's been nerfed, but it's still good again. And then it still spiked again. They're like, all right, time to nerf it again. Like I, I honestly think I would not put that past the Activision team of doing that where it, once they hit a certain quota of sales, which is very well possible because they're, they were selling their company to Microsoft. So they were, they were trying to cook the books to make it look really good on paper so that, that's probably what they were doing. They were the meta weapons in Warzone were probably being used to to boost profits, so that they so that they can sell to whoever it was, and just it just so happens now to be Microsoft. I know this sounds like a conspiracy theory, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's probably fucking true. <laughs> and most people are probably watching this, even if they even get this far into the podcast, probably won't even believe me. But think about it for a minute. They're all of a sudden. Warzone comes out. It's the pandemic. Three years later or so, they're selling to Microsoft. And they were trying to boost their record profits and get past their numbers so that they can sell it to somebody for, for the maximum amount of money. So uh, what are they selling them? I think they're selling it to them for like $70 billion or something like that or whatever. So imagine if they didn't hit those numbers. Imagine if the meta weapons didn't exist and they actually cared about the game. and they actually Like, you can tell... When, when people are trying to get acquired in, 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 a, in a lot of different cases. Because all they're trying to do is focus on money. They were, they're not trying to fix the game. There's so many glitches in the game. There's so many problems with the servers. There's problems with, with everything. They're trying, to, they're trying to keep it as, as thin as possible as far as profit versus um, expenses. So that's why the servers suck. That's why the things aren't being fixed. That's why we're getting skins instead of things being fixed. So even Apex might be looking for a way out. Fortnite looks like they're not looking for a way out because they're trying to actually improve the game. It still is possible. There's a, there's always exceptions to, to, to those rules. But what, but what I want you to understand is that Microsoft might actually be trying to get acquired. Or they could have been trying to get, get acquired during the pandemic. That's why all the meta weapons and everything were being pushed instead of fixing glitches, fixing issues with the servers, fixing the game itself. So just let that sink in for, for a minute. Even if you think I'm crazy, just think about it for, for a minute because it's not that crazy when you really think about it. So main topic was still Warzone going away forever and this is kind of, we kind of got off track, but still this is all coming. This is all related back to this, right? Like Warzone going away forever is a real issue for people that spent money on, 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 on the game. And for those of you that spent money, you should feel cheated, to be honest with, with you. This is something you should have seen coming. I don't understand why people didn't see this coming. So I do agree with some content creators out there that say, you know, you should have seen this coming because you you should have seen this coming, 100%. There is no doubt in my mind that that eventually games will die. No matter what it is, they will eventually die. You may not think they'll they'll die. Like, again, C CSGO is the best example. You may not think they, they, they may die or G GTA 5 may not die. Like, it's going to die eventually. People are going to stop playing the game. They're going to move on to, to, the, to the next thing. Like, there's going to be like a new, you know, a new console that comes out or a new computer or whatever. And then the old games won't be able to run on those new, on, on those new computers or new consoles or whatever. You know, it's, it's going to happen. So like the player base will be dwindled down to a few hundred people and then it's going to be just boring as shit. So what I, what I want to do, what I want to do to change gaming in general is I, I, I want to make it so that a game can, can live on for a very, very long time and still be self-sustaining. So yes, you can still support it and whatever else, but then the content comes to, to the game and just keep improving on it. And then eventually if the game gets too big for you to actually upgrade the system, like it doesn't look like it, the game can be too, too big. Cause I mean, there's Fortnite, they just upgraded their engine and, it add, and added a whole new, like a whole new ecosystem to it of creating their, your own games and with, with, within the system, right. And being able to get paid for it. That's insane to me, by the way. But, you know, I think that games should be more self-sustaining now where it's, where it's like, especially with AI being able to come into the picture. Like I don't see a reason why uh, GTA five wouldn't live on for like 50 or so years or why Modern Warfare 2 2022 doesn't live on for another five or 10 years or, or 15 years after it's already, you know, been 
if it's after it's already been played through. Like, why can't why why do we have to get a new why 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 do we have to get Modern Warfare three as our next game? Tw- tw- Modern Warfare three Modern Warfare three twenty twenty three. That's the you know that's the new title. By 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 the way, I'm pretty confident in that. At least the last time I saw it. Like what? Like why would we get Mon- Modern Warfare three? Why would we why would we just stick with Modern Warfare two and just keep it just keep content moving for it? Like the the last Cold War. Why can't that be self-sustaining where we just keep making zombie maps for it and we keep and we make, we make like a zombie city map. We make a campaign for zombies. Like why can't we do that? I think a lot of people, especially especially older gamers. No, you know what? I'm going to say younger gamers too. Everybody would like this. Every, every, everybody would want the people that stay with zombies will stay with zombies. The people that stay with multiplayer will stay with multiplayer. The people that stay with Warzone or Battle Royales will stay with Battle Royales. So why don't we just keep molding to those audiences? Why don't why don't we just focus on let's say a Warzone map and then get get that out? Then we focus on a zombie map, we get that out. Then we focus on a multiplayer map or two, we get that out. You know, like why can't we do that? And then they hire more people internally to make. You know, just focus on zombies. Just focus. I, I I talked about this on I think my podcast probably last week, last Sunday, or maybe last sat- Saturday. But why can't we just like why can't they just make teams that are focused on making new zombie maps? Focus on teams that, that are making new war zone maps. This will this will bring the game from nothing to something. It, 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 like you will be able to self sustain a game for years to come. With new content like like that, and having teams focused on being creative and giving them the free reign to be creative, to listen to to, to to the community, get their feedback. What what do we want? And then they can mold their own thing and figuring out how to make us what we actually want. This is where we could say, all right, give them something they may not know they they need. But it's like when we're asking for that tinfoil ball, and they're giving us a rocket ship from NASA, we're not asking for that. So why would you give us that?